Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Kid Good at Open Transport Tech Gun. Now, in the last episodes, uh, we mainly focused on coal, iron, and, uh, steel, goods. And one resource that I uh, completely ignored was oil. And the reason for that is that uh, oil wells uh, really are really bad. Um, they may have uh, quite a high production in the beginning, but unlike the other resources, they will never increase their production, or at least not significantly. So uh, actually in this map there's only two oil wells left. And as you can see, this one only produces 18,000 uh, liters of oil per month. And the other one has a similar number. So yeah, that's why I really never bother with oil wells. Uh, since this production is so low, uh, it will probably uh, disappear uh, soon. Um, what does happen, however, is that uh, after the year 1960, I believe, um, actually a new oil uh, resource uh, will spawn, or has a chance to spawn, which are oil rigs. Now you can find one here in the corner of the map. They usually spawn uh, near the edge of the map. And what's special about these is that they're actually uh, neutral uh, stations. So if we click on it, we can see it produces 171 liters of oil last month. And it also produces some passengers. So you could even uh, uh, let a passenger ship uh, or even a helicopter go to this uh, platform. Now, um, what I, what I uh, sometimes even do is just uh, extend the land and build a train station towards it. I usually do that uh, at the end game when I have way more money than I can spend. But for now, uh, let's just make a ship that goes to the oil platform to uh, take that, uh, that black gold. <laughs> Alright, uh, now we need to look for a place to bring it to, an oil refinery we need. Well, there's one here, but I think it's a little bit too close. <laughs> we want to make some uh, good money from it. So if we look a little bit further, then here we find the oil refinery that uh, I think is suitable. I mean, it's uh, almost at sea level and it's not too far inland. And to actually reach it inland, we can uh, use, uh, use these canals. And I will show you uh, how to do that in a bit. Yeah, this one is probably a bit too far, uh, too far up. Yeah, it would become really expensive. All right. Um, so first, let's build a canal to get to this uh, to this oil refinery. We could uh, just shape the land, lower it so all the water would go here, but uh, it would be uh, quite expensive. <laughs> well, it will be expensive anyway. Let's just uh, show you how to uh, do this. So um, here you can make a lock. Um, a lock is needed to uh, overcome any height differences. So from the sea we'll build a lock here on this slope. And you can see uh, we are now at this uh, water level. And then we can simply build a canal. It is very expensive to build this, so you should only do this when you have uh, money to spare. Alright, let's... Uh Make a bit of a small lake here. And we cannot just build docks here. But, um, well, it's very close to the city, so they may not even uh, allow it. We'll have to see. And to make a dock, you will need to have a hill like this. And then here you can build a dock. And the city doesn't, uh, doesn't allow us. Probably we ruined our reputation by uh, removing the trees over there. Atrocious. Let's see if we can uh, fix this by uh, spamming some trees around the city. We'll probably need a lot of trees. Oh yeah. Alright, they're basically a forest now. And our reputation is no good. So, now it's time to uh, place our docks. 
and let's just build them here right next to the oil field you can see we have some docks here now and we'll need to have a ship depot so we can actually spawn some ships here Now, when we make a ship now, we cannot just tell it to go from the docks to the oil field. The oil, oil field is too far away. So we need to use uh, buoys to actually guide the ship to its uh, destination. Um, we'll want to have an oil tanker. And as you may see, um, these ships are all really slow. So we'll probably need a few of these to, uh, to be able to gather all the, the oil. But yeah, when you make a distance between the ship and its destination too long, uh, it will probably have years that it's not profitable and years that it will be profitable. Just because they're so, really, so damn slow. Alright, the docks are here. Let's make some uh, buoys. Alright, this should do. Actually, I'll also make a ship depot near the oil rig. It might come in handy later. Anyway, let's make an uh, oil tanker. Actually, let's uh, spawn them near the oil rig so they can immediately start loading oil. That's probably better. Okay, let's make the ship and we'll tell it to go to the oil rig. Alright, um, full load any cargo, and then we tell it to go to the buoy, and then to the next one, and then to the next one, and then to the docks, and then we'll click the buoys again in this order. Now you can imagine that uh, if you want to add any uh, more destinations to this uh, it will be really annoying to add all the buoys in between. So for ships I also recommend to just like the buses I did in the last episode to use shared orders. So instead of just uh, cloning the, uh, the ship uh, normally we hold control uh, while cloning it. So I hold control now. Now click it to clone it. That way these ships will share orders. And if I want to add a destination in between later, uh, it will be a lot easier. Because I will just have to sh change it for one of the ships. Now this uh, oil rig produces quite a lot of oil. So this ship uh, should take around two months to fill. And then the next ship can start uh, filling. But I will just uh, start them all and probably at, uh, at some point we may need uh, more ships but uh, we'll see how it goes uh, later. Anyway, um, this is really uh, everything you need to know about oil. So yeah, oil wells, uh, I wouldn't bother with them because they just, uh, yeah, they will lose production over time probably not worth uh, investing in into infrastructure for that but the oil fields are a good way to uh, to make some nice money now when oil gets brought to this uh, oil derrick it will produce goods in turn that we can then uh, again transport to our uh, city on the other side so I will just make a make a station for that and as more oil rigs will spawn in the future we will connect more of, uh, of those.
All right, I just uh, started with two good trades now. It will probably take a while uh, for them to become uh, profitable. I see the first boat is now uh, almost nearing the docks. And the second one is underway. And the third one is uh, still loading, it's halfway. Um, I think we can probably have uh, two more of these boats before uh, we have the maximum amount of boats that will be uh, that will always be uh, loading without having to wait for each other anyway there's another thing we can use the oil field for uh, it also has a helicopter platform so we could also make a helicopter line to here it accepts passengers and mail so for fun let's also make a helicopter uh, platform somewhere and for that, um, well, <laughs> we probably can't build here because the local authority hates us. Actually, it's mediocre. I think we could uh, add a little helicopter field in this uh, city that we are trying to grow. And that should also uh, give it a, a little boost. Now, uh, when you cre create an airport, uh, can click this button and then you can select the airport class uh, what we'll want is a helicopter airport and let's just put a heliport it's really small it's just one tile and uh, it should uh, really uh, more than serve our needs here now in some uh, there are settings in uh, open TTD that uh, allow you to put a noise limit for the cities so depending on the size of the cities, you can only uh, add a certain amount of airports uh, to the city. Um, I haven't turned, turned on that option, so we can just uh, spam airports uh, as we like. But yeah, if you want some extra realism, you could uh, do that. Now, we cannot actually spawn any uh, helicopters from this heliport. This is just a station. So we need a depot somewhere and the only way to make a depot is by actually uh, making an airport. Now not all uh, airport types are available. Uh, I don't really know the prerequisites for uh, airport types to uh, spawn but uh, we could put a large airport somewhere. Let's just put it uh, somewhere uh, on a remote location away from the city. So we won't really use it as an airport, I just want to use it for the for the depot, so we can spawn uh, helicopters. Yeah, all of them are grayed out. Okay, uh, yeah, more should probably become available uh, in the future. Okay, um, here's the helicopter we want, it's a Tricario helicopter. So let's uh, buy one. Well, we could refit it, but uh, right now it can carry 40 passengers and 15 bags of mail. I think passengers and mail is uh, probably a good type to transport. So let's uh, go to this heliport and then we'll go to the oil field. Now, I'm not actually sure uh, how much both of these will. Uh, will produce, but uh, if there will be a lot of passengers waiting here for example then uh, I will probably tell this helicopter to uh, full load all cargo. Anyway we can probably make a few more of these and uh, I will clone them while holding control so they share orders. So if I tell it to uh, full load, but to uh, fully load at a, at a oil platform for example then because of the shared orders uh, the other ones will do the same so let's make a few of these and uh, these guys will now just uh, transfer passengers and mail back and forth between the oil rig and our little village let's fast forward a bit so we can follow the helicopters 
Now, there's one thing you should know about uh, aircraft. This, they tend to uh, crash sometimes. There's not much you can do about it. Uh, it's just the nature of, uh, of aircraft. So yeah, sometimes you may have to uh, replace them. It will happen more often, I think, if you uh, if you let big aircraft land at small airports. Anyway, the first helicopter has landed, so now the oil field should start producing passengers. And as you can see, the first uh, passengers uh, already st started waiting here at the oil field. Anyway, this should uh, probably get uh, more as our uh, ratings uh, increase here. And probably also in the village, more passengers should be waiting already at the heliport. Anyway, I think I will tell the helicopters to uh, load fully here at the heliport. So let's do that. They share orders, so they should all do the same. And that way, uh, they they won't uh, all stick behind each other like these buses currently do. I could uh, make timetables for these buses or uh, make them full load here in the middle of the city in a station just to spread them out. But uh, for now, I will just keep it like this, just so. Uh, so that way I'm sure that at least one unit of cargo gets uh, transported to these bus stops uh, at least uh, once every month. And that way I make sure this uh, town has the full growth potential. So yeah, if you uh, saw last episode, the prerequisite for growth was to uh, transport at least one unit of cargo uh, between up to five uh, stations within the town influence. In a period of one month. Anyway, that was all for this uh, episode. That's all uh, you need to know about uh, oil rigs and why you should not bother with uh, oil wells unless you really want to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you again in the next one. See you later.